Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Coach Brett Erkenbrack, who is the head women's basketball coach for the Cloud County Community College. And Coach, recently just coached in your 1,000th game. That's an amazing number in and of itself. Your career record at this point, or at least at that point, that was a week ago, 684, 316. Talk about that. Four digits. Uh, you know, that that's just a big number anyway around. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of miles. Uh, a lot of cheeseburgers out of a sack, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of practices, but uh, it seems like it's gone pretty quickly, and, uh, and, and I've enjoyed it almost every minute of it i can imagine well i'm sure some moments maybe a little bit more than others over that course of time i i'm sure there's been a roller coaster here and there along the way but still getting the opportunity to do something like that you know i mentioned 680 plus wins you legitimately could hit 700 this year we'll talk about this current season a little bit later on in in the broadcast now but i i know that wins are not just numbers there are so many things that go into that but you're the all-time winningest coach now in Region 6 in, in the NG, NJCAA, and that has to mean something. Well, it, it does, and I, I didn't set out to really win X number of games or be here in X number of years, but, but I must say that my goal has always been from day one to win the national championship here at Cloud County, and we were fortunate enough to do that, and uh, – Cloud County has been an awfully big part of uh, our family's life. And and my, my dad was a men's basketball coach and athletic director here. And so uh, this this is home. And, and it, it means a lot to me to be able to do it right here in Cloud County, in Concordia, and be close to friends and family and all those people that have uh, watched me grow up and, and watched my career all, all these years. We're speaking now with Coach Brett Erkenbrack from Cloud County. And I do want to encourage you, please do consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net and like and share these videos. We would appreciate that. Coach, that is something I, I'd, I'd like to even take that a step further because you know you talk about family there and 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 you know your dad, but then not only you, your wife, your sons have all gone to school there and, and graduated there as well. I, there's there's such a testament then to that and to what the school means to you then and and how I'm sure you do want to project that from this point. Well, that that's really, I mean, a lot of people talk about family atmosphere and, and the small town living and, and all of those things. And we have lived that here for now over 45 years. Uh, my dad came here in 1975 as the men's basketball coach and athletic director. And, and I was nine years old. So, uh, this has been a significant part of my life and our family's life. And uh, my, my dad and I and, and uh, our youngest son, uh, we farm quite a little bit in uh, Republic County, the next county north of us here, right along the Kansas-Nebraska border. And so uh, we, we've had a good life, and we certainly have been uh, appreciative and thankful for the opportunity here at Cloud County. And it, it's been great for my wife and, like I say, my dad and our sons and, and our daughter-in-law, who is expecting our first grandchild this, this coming summer. She's, uh, she's a graduate of Cloud County Community College and played volleyball <laughs> here. So, uh, so many ties. And uh, this, is, this is a great place with great people and, and uh, never really considered seriously going anywhere else. Well, congratulations on the upcoming addition to the family then. That that is fantastic. It's that's always nice to get to hear. Uh, coach, you know with with that kind of longevity then, it entails a, a good number of of students and and athletes, student athletes if you will too even to an extent then uh, to be able to have that kind of longevity. It's not something that just happens by chance. I know you've had a uh, uh, the the chance to get to coach a lot of great players and be involved with a lot of great people. We've, we certainly have, and kind of the, the hallmark of our program here over these many years is we've tried to maximize the in-state players. We've tried to uh, recruit the very best players from the state of Kansas that we could get, and uh, we've had many, many of them. Uh, certainly some of the, the very best and, and most well-known have been 
Michelinet Tennell from Centralia, Kansas, that was the MVP of the national tournament in 2001 when we won the national championship, two-time All-American. Uh, Chanel Styers, who uh, grew up in Salina, Kansas, played Salina Central High School. She was one of our great early players who uh, went on. And uh, she. I, I, I've been here so long that Chanel Styers played for me, and then she uh, went to Kansas State and was all big eight for three years in a row. She was before the Big 12 even. And uh, Chanel went on and played in uh, the WNBA with the Minnesota Lynx, and she is currently the head women's coach at Cal State East Bay in California, uh, one of the best uh, NCAA Division II programs in the state of California. Uh, Kelsey Nelson uh, from, from Riley, Kansas, played here for us, and uh, had a tremendous career, ended up our, our fifth all-time leading scorer in school history. And then, uh, and, and of course, she's uh, also known for her older, or her, uh, yeah, her older brother, Jordy Nelson, that uh, uh, had a tremendous career, Super Bowl champion with the, with the Green Bay Packers. And she's, she's had a very successful life in, in teaching and coaching at her alma mater of Riley County. And uh, Deandra Shermer from Holton, Kansas, Tremendous player for us here that's now the head coach at Valdosta State in uh, Georgia. Uh, I could go on and on. I'm, I'm missing, I'm, I'm leaving out <laughs> people, but you know, those are those are some great players and some great people that have gone on to do e exceptional things in their life uh, after Cloud County. And and I take great pride in that. Well, I appreciate you naming all of the, them because that that is again, it, it goes a long way to say, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, where, where, where you come from, what you do, you know, you can succeed from wherever. And, uh, I think that is incredibly cool. And you have a great program there to be able to launch people uh, into success in life. And I think it's just fantastic coach, uh, this season now, ordinarily we might be talking about this season winding down and, you know, here we are in, in, in mid February. And I know that uh, you've had a game canceled due to weather today, so it gives us an opportunity to talk even today. But the season is just now getting underway. Tell us about 2021. Well, it's uh, unlike any other season that, that I've er ever experienced, certainly. And I think uh, most people around the country would say the same thing. Uh, normally, as you say, we would be uh, probably 24, 25 games into our season, and we played six. Um, and, and, and this is the only one that has been canceled so far, the, our, our game today. Uh, but we're, we're four and two, we're three and two in the Jayhawk conference. Um, uh, you know, it's, I, I like our team. I like our players. Uh, we just, uh, we're, we're just getting started. I, I told somebody the other day, you know, from a chronological standpoint, it should be about mid November. <laughs> uh, rather than mid-February in terms of the development of our team. But uh, I guess everybody in junior college is in the same boat this year, and our, our hope is that we can just keep getting better every day. We've had some injuries, and we've had some different things along the way for, for us, like everybody does. But uh, I've, I've got uh, one really good player, I believe, and in, in Liana McGinnis, a uh, 6'1 post player from Olathe, Kansas, that She's averaging 20 points a game for us right now, and and she's uh, she's going to get some significant recruitment. And our guard play is getting better. Um, I you know I, I think if we can continue to improve, like like everybody says, you know that the keys are stay healthy, get better, defend and rebound, and we've got a chance at the end. Well, Coach, I I'm really glad that you are getting to play, and I understand you know that things have shifted. When I saw the NJCAA had moved everything then to the spring, but still with the intention of getting to play the seasons out, you know, and 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 not just shut everything down, but to be able to give the the teams, the athletes, the coaches, the staffs, everybody an opportunity to play. I was excited about that, even though I knew it would make <laughs> make things a little bit different. But that's all right. That's uh, where we are in 2021 right now. But success to you all this season, Coach Brett Erkenbrack, a thousand plus games. What what an amazing career. And I look forward to hopefully getting to visit with you more. Success to you all this season. And, and let's see how this wraps up. And who knows, may even have 700 before the end of 2021. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit. My pleasure. Thank you, Jerry.